我而家喺芝加哥歷史悠久嘅芝加哥嘅大劇院門口參加呢個 James Beer Foundation 嘅終身成就獎嘅頒獎典禮。我啱啊，跟住趕住咧換翻件衫，去行紅地氈。唔、哎、好意思啊，要趕要趕住換衫啊！Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, we'll see you inside. 我今日咧，而家咧喺芝加哥嘅歷史悠久嘅大劇院參加呢個 James Beer 嘅頒獎典禮。我咧好榮幸。得到終身成就獎，我係代表全個灣區、全美國、全世界嘅中學師傅去領呢個獎嘅，因為我哋咧辛勤勞動，我哋應該獲得，所有啲人咧都應該獲得呢個終身成就獎。I think you are all happy to be here in Chicago. People always say, I grew up with you. I watched you when I was a little kid. You know what? I grew up with all of you. I was very fortunate to start with the iconic, legendary Julia Child, French chef, and Galloping Gourmet. Those days on PBS, we have our three cooking shows. We host the Daily Yankee Cook Show. Before I start, Talking about some of my experience, I want to thank the James Beer Foundation. I want to thank the Yankin Cook team, my wife Susan and Stephanie, and everybody else in the Yankin Cook team. And also, all the chefs that I have worked with in this country, as well as around the world. And yesterday, and the day before, in the last few days, and then tomorrow, I'll be going to Food City, Chicago. To eat around, and I will tell people: if you mention my name, you got a 20% off. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to go to a、uh, Ray Bayless, Chef Ray Bayless restaurant, and、uh, Lao Si Chuan, Tony Wu's restaurant. You know, when I was barely a teenager, when I first set foot in Hong Kong restaurants kitchen, in those days. The culinary career was basically the furthest thing from my mind. Surviving day to day is actually my main concern. Days become months. Months turn into years, and in the blink of my eye, here I am standing in front of all of you, talking about a lifetime. How amazing! As many of my good, as many of my good friends, colleagues, and contemporary have retired, many ask me, Martin, 
When are you going to retire? I love my work. My work gives me pressure and satisfaction. Like Oprah Winfrey once said, if you love your work, you don't have to work a day of your life. My good friend, dropped a pen well into his 80s. It is keeping busy every day. I just have the great pressure to work with Alice Water and Jacques Pepin just a few days ago. We share a lot of the wonderful memories and also how we see food will be come in the future. He told me recently he intended to work until he's 108 years old. That's Jacques Worth. So don't ask me when I will retire. The James Bay Foundation is unique in that it recognizes not only the excellency in culinary arts, but also its connection and contribution to our community, to this great country, U.S. of A. Over the decades, I have come to know so many of you. I'm honored to call you not only my colleague, but also my friends. I have made thousands of wonderful friends in this country and around the world. I remember when I first set foot in the U.S., there were probably about a few thousand Chinese and Asian restaurants. But in recent years, it has grown to well over 50,000. So, so you may notice many of these Restaurant have my picture somewhere in the wall. That means a lot of free meals. So mention my name when you go to visit any restaurant with my picture. I have learned so much from them and also from many of you. Perhaps the most important lesson I have learned is that I am not only a chef with a public persona, but like my mentor, Julia Child. I have the opportunity to bring people together through my television work and personal appearances. And like Julia, I want to inspire others to share the joy of cooking. I have always believed that the more people learn about each other's history, heritage, culture, the more we expect and respect each other and appreciate each other. And food and cooking are universal. There's no national, international boundaries. It breaks down barriers. It brings people closer together, just like tonight. And I stand here, basking in the limelight. There are tens of thousands of culinary professionals around the world, sweating in the busy kitchen particularly from where I came from. Asian chefs work long hours for modest pay. And typically, a challenging, in a very challenging kitchen environment, 95 degree, 95 percent humidity. Few of them ever get a real vacation or even take an extra day off. So from the bottom of my heart, the hardworking all the world with the chef professionals around the world who devote their entire life to this particular profession. This one is for you. You know, they all deserve a lifetime achievement award. I'm always ready to work because Food and cooking is my love and also my passion. Just like many, many thousands and millions of chefs in the country and around the world. Once again, thank you, James Beer Foundation. Thank you, all of you. You all receive the same award that I receive. You should all be given a Lifetime Achievement Award. Thank you so very much, everybody.